now we are going to the another topic that is the html attributes and so many attributes are there and we are going to execute each and every attribute how they are going to work to discuss html attributes html attributes first of all we need to know that what is an attribute an attribute is a defined thing it is having a particular usage which will be useful for that particular tag particular tag let us suppose i am having a this anchor tag i am using for my link purpose right how i am using over this a href is equal to www.gmail.com and i am closing this anchor tag and i it needs to print gmail over here and i am closing my anchor tag if i want to display any link this is the basic thing i use to follow here right this is a anchor is my tag in this html element anchor is my tag this href is my attribute right this hr whatever is attribute defines the specificity of the particular tag for this tag href means i am including my source including my source url to the anchor tag that means to display any gmail if i want to display my output will be like this gmail and underlined link and it is in blue color it is in blue color so this is the way we are using href we are having so many attributes and we are going to discuss about specific attribute in specific way i'm having language attribute i'm having title attribute i'm having source attribute href attribute height and width attribute this i can also say as size height and width attributes i do having and so many i am having basic things i am going to clear you over here coming to the language attribute from html5 up, up to the updated version we do having a specific language how our html we are writing the code it should be it should be written in a specific language right so i am going to reveal which language it is opening see in my html tag i am using my language attribute see over here language i need to use lang is equal to and i am going to close this html i am using this language attribute in html tag okay here i am giving en us en means english that united states and i am giving the code here this is the default if you didn't given also it will run but language is also an attribute which specifies in which language our document is that is the main purpose of language and also i can have meta i already said that in my header portion i use it to display my metadata right in metadata this is my meta tag in this meta tag i am having another in this meta tag i am having another attribute that is char set that means in char set in which in this language i am using this character set that is the default utf8 this is the main purpose of this too now you clearly understood how i am using my language attribute and also the character set in header portion and coming to the title how i am using this attribute let us suppose i am having a paragraph okay i am having a paragraph i can use my title my paragraph let us suppose it is about flower so i am giving my title name as flower in this paragraph flower is in red color and i'm closing this para see i'm using my paragraph tag in this title is my attribute why i need to give my title over here you will later understood how why i'm using my title attribute over here see 
if i want to give some special beautification about only this para then i can directly give through my title flower name i can give my specification and beautification that is the reason i am using for each let us suppose in your in your textbook you are having so many paragraphs so with only paragraph tag you can't imagine that this para is about what so for clear and identification we are using title attribute also so if this para about flower i can use flower i am having another para that is about animals i can use my para for animals and i can close this let us suppose i am having another paragraph that is for insects i can use my title to just need to know the para about what is and what we are using the title attribute over here title is also one of you can also use in heading portion you can also in anchor and you can also use in whatever the tags you can use this title attribute okay now i'm going to now i'm going to special attributes that is source alt okay height width and i'm closing this my image tag this is a non pay tag that is only one open open tag will be there this is the non pay tag and here i'm having four attributes that is source alt height and width i already discussed with you about this attributes again i am telling you guys the source i am giving the source information about my image that means the url path or folder where in or the folder where my image is there that means the folder path or current website current website saved path i can also give my current website saved path image over here alt means this alt attribute works as if source is not working fine if the image can't be displayed because of data or something else the text in alt will be displayed over here and height you can give in percentile or in pixels this shows the size of an image this shows the size of an image okay this is what all about language title source and href this we are using in link now you are clear with what is an html so many attributes are there present with the basic attributes i am clearing over it we going to deep into the html page and we will discuss more about this attributes